What is going on YouTube? And I'm back with another video. And today I'm gonna do a little update on the tank. Uh, this will be a short update, but before I start, I need y'all to like and subscribe and hit that little bell. Hey, if you're new here, this is a channel where I talk about all things reef tanks and uh, let's get it. So the only thing new I got in the tank this week is, so far is these firework clothes. Uh, I just fragged a piece off of it. And, oh yeah, I got the, I got these mushrooms. Well, this one mushroom, this uh, Redactus mushroom. I'm hoping to split pretty soon. I got these. They haven't fully opened it up yet. Uh, they came from California from uh, Coral Anonymous. And I'm just waiting for, you know, to see, you know, the results of how they look. These are green people eaters. I got this Alvia Porter, uh, Alvia Por Pora. If I'm saying it, if I'm saying it wrong, tell me how to say it down below. Yeah, from uh, my local fish store. I like it, it's doing good. Same place I got my gunny from, my gunny doing great. He's loving this tank. Matter of fact, I went to the local fish store yesterday and I saw they had an even bigger frag. I was like, man, if, if I only wait, hey, good things happen to the people that wait. I guess I learned it there, man. But you, I wish y'all could see it. Like this this video doesn't, doesn't do it any justice. Like, like the little tips of the, the tentacles, like they're like glowing green. And it's, it's amazing. It's amazing the person. It's amazing. Yeah, here goes the main frag of the clothes. I wish I had turned it the other way, that way they grow this way. I mean, you know, they going towards the flow, I guess. Yeah, but yeah, they doing their thing. I don't know if I'll show y'all my RFAs, but yeah, they're growing. Obviously, if, if I did show y'all, y'all notice how, you know, the, the size difference of last time. But it's just a weak growth. That's a weak of growth. And I got this branching bunny pour that I just placed right there. I hope it does well right there. It looks real nice. Nice and green. I was thinking about going back and getting the red one too. Yeah, I want to put a bird dance right there eventually. I put that toadstool up there just because I don't know what the hell I want to do with it right now. And I got the other toadstool right there. He's doing wonderful right there. He, I haven't seen the day with, without his paws closed, you know what I'm saying? Or open, you know? Uh, The hammer is doing water, not the hammer. Yeah, the hammer is doing wonderful after getting chewed up by, you know, the peppermint shrimp a couple of weeks back. Well, actually, a month ago. He's doing wonderful right there. And this hammer, all, the green hammer is definitely doing his thing. He's growing a lot. I think they growing the, uh, besides the Zoes, I have to say the fastest thing growing in my tank has to be the hammers. The hammers are doing their thing, man. They love it. They love it in this tank. They love it here. They love it here. So I got this Duncan. You know, this is one of my Duncans that I got a while back. And look how fat he is, man. He's huge. Like, I can definitely sit my whole thumb in the middle of that. The one on the top. Uh, the Gorgani is doing his thing. This, this right side of him, for some reason, never comes out. But the rest, the rest of the Gorgani is not. You know, it comes out all the time. Yeah, I got some more mushrooms back there. I bought this frag for $20, yo. And it has five mushrooms on it. You know, of course, the rest of them are babies, but hey, there's more mushrooms than, you know, most folks can buy for one. And I think, you know, that's a pretty good steal. And shout out, hey, shout out to my local fish store, yo. Shout out to my local fish store. Yeah, y'all see the Zoe Garden. The Zoe Garden is going well. The colors is the main thing I notice. You know, feeding reef roids, the, the reef roids really bring out that color. And I also been feeding the uh, oyster feast. You was wondering whether I was feeding my corals. That's, that's the two things I feed them. And you know, the colors have been, the colors have been very consistent, uh, very bright colors. Uh, of course, I still got that Near right snail in the middle of this frag. There's some reason, you know, I can't get him out. I've been picking at their rock so damn long. I can't get his ass out. But hopefully that guy right there can take him out eventually. That guy. 
one of the newest additions to this tank. So far, he's been getting along with the clownfish. We'll see how it go. I hope not to, you know, hope he don't become extremely aggressive. I heard, I heard some bad things about him, but I also heard some good things about him, man. Sometimes clownfish can get a little feisty itself. Actually, he bit me yesterday. So, I hope the clownfish just defend itself. I know he, he's not like aggressive, aggressive, but like if you get close to the, if you get close to them pallies right there, he doesn't like it. Like he doesn't even want the rats near it. So hell, he don't even want the hermit crowd near it sometimes. So that's his home, and he's unbothered there. But this rash, like he's, he's. Hey, I had these little flatworms in my tank. I don't know if you can see that one right there. Yeah, I can't even zoom, zoom in on them, but yeah. And I had to rest for about a week now, and yeah, I think the flatware population has definitely went down a lot. Also, the copepod pie population went down a lot too, so I might have to redose them with some more copepods pies pretty soon, because yeah, he eating up everything in the tank. But you know, I noticed the one thing he's not eating is plate food. Who will not touch flake food to save his life? But like, like he eats, uh, you know, the frozen brine shrimp and all the frozen foods, but he doesn't touch flake food, food at all. He doesn't want it. Corals I'm looking to add to this tank next week. Probably another RFA. I'm definitely looking for, you know, all different color RFAs. Cause hey, right now I, I really like the color they bring to the tank. I wish I had, you know, know that it was that easy when I first started my tank. Cause, hey, be honest, my tank would probably be, it'd probably just be an RFA tank. Cause you don't have to worry about too much with them. They just sit there. These guys ain't moved in. Ever since I put them in the tank, they in the same spot. It's 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 a third one back here. Can't really see them. It's, yeah, it's a third one hiding in the rocks. I can see them, but I can't get them on the camera. Anyways, this is the tank, yeah. This is the tank, and everything's looking wonderful. Everything's looking good. Make sure you follow my Instagram at Randall Black Reefer. And make sure you subscribe to this channel so you keep a, you know, update on the tank. You can watch this tank grow. And then maybe a year from now, you come back and look at this channel. You look at, see how far this tank has come. You'll be like, man, this guy really grew out this tank. Yeah, so hey, make sure you like, subscribe, and y'all be blessed. Keep reefing.